Are you dating anybody right now? Because no. I know there were some rumors floating around in 2020. That I was dating that guy. No, I'm not. Which guy? Which man? Whichever man you're talking about. Because <laughs> if you do not go through your man's phone, that is not your man. Sarah, actually. that's not true. Sarah, yes. that's not true. Don't listen to her, Sarah. <laughs> do you really want someone to go pop the gun, then come home and pop that cherry? Absolutely. <laughs> You guys look very similar. So I was like, what's the difference between you and your brother? He's like, I like guns and he likes Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think the earth is flat or round? Don't ask Why do you ask? I think it's flat. Like, I think it's... All right, yeah. Since oh, you're... You're right. not. I mean, if you're... Gonna... Well, if, if you want to start at the show, same time. Well, it's your I can show. Do it. I mean, it's, a... it's our show. Well, the name's on the wall. Relaxive. I oh, started. Um, hello there. Welcome back to Impulsive. It's the number one podcast in the world, as we were just telling Ruby Rose. Statistics. Who's our guest Data. today. Uh, there's absolutely no reason I'd lie about that. Also, it's 2024. It's the first episode back. Maybe second. <laughs> and we are stoked to have you, Ruby Rose. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. I can't believe you came to Puerto Rico. I had to. Welcome. Thank you. Have you met any uh, of the locals? Um, any Puerto Rican culture? Food? Dance? Yes, we've been outside. We've low key been outside. Okay. Like every day we've been here. Listen, Ruby, I, you've been going crazy viral lately for like a lot. Like, like I saw this video of you uh, like dancing. I think maybe like rehearsing. I was doing. Yeah, I was on Sexy Red's tour. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, oh, right. okay. Sick. Was yeah, there's just like old guy watching you, like perving yes. on you in the background. It was kind of weird, but it was you know flattering. He probably hasn't seen something. <laughs> A black woman <laughs> doing that in a while. I respect so. that. No, no shame. Just like watching you break it down. Yeah, we were in the ho like the hotel gym. Like it was like ten o'clock at night. I don't know why he was in there, but him and his wife just came and watched Check the you out. thirty minute rehearsal. The wife was watching too. She turned her back and just turned around. It was kind of like she's like let him watch. And then also recently, obviously the most viral thing that I've seen is that dude who spent. Lamar. Is that his name? Oh, it's we're my, oh we're buddy. getting way. I mean, <laughs> we're getting all the way into that. Do you want to get into that right off the bat? I say we dive into it. This guy spends thirty thousand, sixty thousand no, no. dollars a month on your OnlyFans. Hold on, let me let me intro some fucking context here. Okay, this is a very big story. I want to make sure there's some justice given. Right, right. Okay, there was this announcement or this like this like story that broke on Twitter a couple weeks ago, right? A few weeks ago, that this crypto whale had been outed for spending, I think it was $63,000. Like 62, yeah. 62,000 dollars in a month on Ruby's OF. Obviously a story like that breaks. Everybody's talking about a commentary, Twitter, podcast communities, so on and so forth. There is a picture of you guys together. I ran into him at my hotel at the Mondrian on Sunset. What And what was that like? Um, it was like, now like that I think about it, I'm like, was it a run in? No, no, no. Or was it, maybe he like knew I was there, but I don't know. People like were saying like, I should be scared of him, but he's actually like a really nice friendly guy and he spent more. So he's like. Oh, okay. Well, so it gets deeper, Logan. I don't even know if you know this or not. Now, now there's so, there's a, a bunch of ways we could talk about this. People spending that amount of money on girls, on OF, on, on videos, whatever. This dude's gone on shows recently and said, he, he said the following. On one of the shows. I didn't purchase none of her OnlyFans content. I got the situation where I just went and took a picture with Ruby, right? I got paid for it. I didn't know exactly what it was for. I think it was like a promo thing. Her team hit me up, whatever the fuck it was. I met up with her. I take the picture the next day. I'm like the OnlyFans top spender. I know there was some kind of thing where it had to do with OnlyFans top spender shit, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. It was made up to look like I was her top spender. Okay. So this is my response. Like this oh, is as of today. Like, so this is in the past two months. So, and he has a tattoo of me on his, on his Oh my God. So. $105,000. Crypto yeah. whale looking for a queen. Are you going to be his queen? We're going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it as friends. Wait, so, so wait, so I don't get this. Cause this dude goes on these shows to try to, to, I don't know if maybe this part of it was for content. I don't know. I've seen like a few, a few interviews and some of it, like he like tries to like deny it and then some he like admits to it. So it's like, I don't know. He's how just... do you, how do you deny it? Brother, you have a tattoo of her on your leg. You're denying being the number one spender and your Instagram is one of one spender. <laughs> the shirt. How is that it was possible, just... bro? The texts are the most shocking part to me. That's why I'm actually surprised you let him in your vicinity. The, it feels, I mean, we just had Chris Hansen on our show, but it feels like a little like predatory. It's weird. He's well, like, he it's, he's like having a hotel. fantasy with himself in mm, your thread. I don't know. Like, honestly, like not to toot my horn. 
toot that shit. But like, you know, guys. Guys like me a yeah, lot. They do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and like, you know, I give, I post, and like, I, I, you know, you know, I, it's per, no, it's purposeful. Business. Yeah, that's your business. You definitely know what the fuck you're doing. Like, you know, viral content, social content. There's actually a tweet here from someone that says, "Your parents are super educated. You went to boarding school in Switzerland and speaks. You speak four languages. Like three. This a- ghetto hood rat cosplay shit is just a costume for her. Is that true? That's what this, I'm just reading a tweet. Like, I mean, those things about me in the beginning are true. And like, but like, is it ghetto cosplay? Like, I just be like, you know, everybody has a little persona, internet, urban persona. So I think that's just. Well, like, how much of it's true? Like, do you really want someone to go pop their gun, then come home and pop that cherry? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I'm glad that- you know that song. You know my <laughs> Yo, song. You know I know your shit, Ruby. <laughs> Dude, me and Ruby have. We've known we each other for a long time. We've hung out before, That's shocking. For sure. How was for it sure. when you were hanging out with Mike? It was fun. It was crazy. Like, well, was it Coachella? Where was no, it? That too, but also we hung out in New York one night with Kentucky. We you had a club. show. We went to the strip club. You performed at the strip. Because she'll, she'll like perform her shows like at a strip club. And, so she'll like. And throw that shit. I'd be throwing that facts. shit. Facts. That's crazy. <laughs> you, you have a fun life. You have a fucking fun life. We boy have fun lives. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Travel the world. I don't shake my ass as much as you. Maybe I should. You should. But I don't have Congratulations a on your engagement. Thank you so much. That was so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yay for love. Thank Yay you. for marriage. Like, yeah. that's, I love that. Is that on your agenda? Absolutely. Soon? Whenever, whenever God chooses. You're religious. Um, I believe in a God. Mm. I, I see you guys be having like, Heated Christianity topics and Whoa. debates. Don't know what you're talking about. That I, has <sighs> never happened. <laughs> Do you Do, guys? I'm. I love Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian. He's Sweet baby uncer- Jesus. He's uncertain. I'm. I'm kind of like you. There's a God. I, I refer to the God as God, Creator, Universe. I feel like it's got to be one of those things. Um, and I can see how each religion has uh, an extreme amount of value for people who need any sort of optimism or direction and i think in general they're all kind of saying the same thing Mm -hmm. and so it's a little hard for me to subscribe to just one no one thousand percent so i i I, i'm in the same way with you i had a deep conversation with your brother about this and i think we agree on that yeah he's very spiritual he is it's all about about the ayahuasca ayahuasca. and the toad and shit yeah i gotta try it are you ever doing psychedelics uh mushrooms. mushrooms mushrooms is that the extent yeah i used to smoke weed like for 10 years extremely heavily and i'm completely sober for Good. two months but sober like no alcohol why well, I, I never really drank for real but wow but i would like i would like to taste one of those an energy or a hydration energy really okay. yeah what okay. question did you ask when i you- said <laughs> did it kill anybody because she, she goes i want to try a prime i was like do it on the show and then she asked me if it killed anyone uh no it didn't. Well, why there did was you that, ask that that one drink? I think it was from Panera. It was like an energy drink that oh, killed somebody. Yeah, so like, yeah, it did. It, no, a couple, by the way, a couple people. Yeah, I think it's off the market. Can now. we get her a cold one? They're good, room temp. Yeah, but cold, what cold. flavor is the best? You, you tell me. G- grab her a uh, cold cherry. Free cold. Bowl. Cherry free grab free a couple. Free. Just grab a variety of what you think would be good fr- from that fridge downstairs, and energy if you can, if possible. Thanks, boss. Is that hydration that you're drinking? This one's energy. It's in a can. It's for people above the age of 18. I gotta say why, that. Why 18? Uh, caffeine. Caffeine content. Okay. Facts. Makes but sense. no more than... Tell her the real story. No mm-hmm. more than any other drink. Less. In fact. I don't have to... Exp- I don't have to value... Ruby Rose ain't questioning me. You're, you're not... Uh, what's his name? Chris what's, Hansen. No, not Chris. <laughs> no, the, the guy. Arnold Chuck Schwarzenegger. Chuck Schumer. Sh- <laughs> Who's that? Chuck Schumer. Who's that? Came after my product. <gasps> Came like, after my product. Oh my god! Fuck yeah, him. pitch to the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Now be careful. He runs New York. He does. Uh, yeah, Lo- like legit, okay. legit. We love. He him. also is like. He <laughs> also. He also low key is like the most powerful person in the country. Is he? Lo- like, is he? Like heavily. No. no. Yeah, is, is he? Senate majority. He's Senate majority. I think he is Jewish. That's so interesting. Oh, why? Do is there a connection between? The, I don't know because like Jew, they always say like Jewish people are like the most shit. powerful and like richest people in the world. It's amazing for them. My manager is Jewish. He's he's rich for manager sure. Manager Jeff, I gotta say this: we are we are <laughs> Shabbat we, Shalom. <laughs> we are we're bouncing on a lot of topics here. I, I, like there's just so much to unpack, repack, and then unpack again. Mm. Okay? So much. Mm. Like like 
when when this dude was going, I just spit everywhere. When this dude was going viral for spending eight million dollars on your your OF, right? It Not got eight. You know what I mean? Close. It got picked up by a lot of these um these red pill podcasts. Are you familiar with the term? Um, like the ones where like niggas hate on bitches type shit. One hundred percent. Yes. Yeah, they're weird. I wanted to ask you about that. I, they're it, weird. Like I'd be wanting to like fucking clap back and comment back, but like they'd be like, I just know like. No, I'm nah, not going to no bring point. more fire and like give them clout like they're on a podcast making no no disrespect. Oh, my God. We got all flavors here. Thank Strawberry, you. watermelon, cherry, blue raspberry, lemon, lime. We're going to go cherry. Uh, that's what is I'm drinking right love? now. Cold cherry is I, I personally I find it delicious. But if you you got to be honest with me. Uh, tr trust me. I'm never I'm not a liar. Are you an energy drink? Can you drinker? open it with those nails? I can do everything with them. Okay. Am my energy drink person? No. Okay, just all right. I drink matcha. Is that energy? Yeah, I think there's a little caffeine in there. This shit is delicious, y'all. Yes. Wow. I can't even lie. Yes. Wow. I like soda. Like it's really bad, but this doesn't taste like soda. But it's just like a sweet carbonated. With I was pitched an idea to potentially make a, a prime energy with no caffeine, so it's just carbonated, and you just get the taste. That would be good. Interesting, right? It'd yeah. be good. So can we, so can we, can sorry, yeah, sorry, Mike. No, 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 it's fine. This weird guy spent a billion dollars on you and now he's your homie because he spends a billion dollars. Well, no, well, no, I'm. It's my bestie. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to be his bestie a little bit, like give him a little attention. Yes, of course. Is it his ego that you think you're stroking? Pockets, ego. But nothing else. We're, you know what? I'm a kind person <sighs> in general, like, you know, so like, it's not like beef or anything. But, but he can't like. He, okay there's he, boundaries there's that's boundaries. what i was gonna ask oh, you 1000 Can, he can't spend to a level that could get you to go on a date with him mm. like where's that line drawn i don't know like you know it's just i'm a busy woman i'm not gonna lie so if there was like you know time and enough spent that's a possibility but we're just not there yet are you uh are you dating anybody right now Am I dating anybody right now? Uh oh, <laughs> the besties know. Um, because no. I know there were some rumors floating around in 2023. I don't know that I was dating that guy. No, I'm not. I'm not with that man. Which guy? Which man? Whichever man you're talking about. Because <laughs> the I I'm I'm a young woman, so yes, I'm exploring my options. I'm dating. I'm but like I'm not like well, serious. I'm all the way back with like still on the coke boy shit. That um, is that like ten? Like, that like was one a, ago, three that ago? was a going to dinner. And oh, so okay. Somebody set up paparazzi. Cause I love Frenchie, bro. I love him as well. He's like, I was just with him at F1. He's a, he's a great dude. Look, you just, so, you just said it. You're, you're a busy girl. So how does a girl like you go on dates and cultivate a relationship? You said you want to get married. Mm -hmm. Can these things happen given the insane lifestyle that you're living? I'm not going to lie. It's really hard to date. Like I was just telling my friends, like going to pub, like, cause going to a nigga's house is like, it's just already too intimate. But then like going like to like the movies or going to eat, like people will take a picture and then assume that y'all are fucking with each other. So it's just like- Tough. It's a little tough. You gotta go to the private Italian restaurants to sit in the back. But then like even doing the back rooms and private rooms, it's like, it's not the same. Ruins the vibe. Yeah, like running yeah. out the movie theater, running out the bowling it's alley, the it's not the same. You don't yeah. get that full experience. Yeah. Can but, you disguise yourself? Or do people know that's Ruby Rose right Low there? key, like I be in a hoodie and mask everywhere I go. Yeah. And they still know. I'm yep. sure it was same with you. Was that Burning Man? Fully covered up. This was the first example I had of it. Fully covered up. And, and they knew? And people still recognize You're, you're pretty tall. You're very tall. I think that was how they said my, my build. How tall are you? 6'5". Damn. Kidding. I'm 6'2". Six, six <laughs> that's all. How tall are you, Mike? I rounded up. 6'2 six two and, <laughs> six and a half. Oh, yeah. Y'all are both tall as so. hell. We're tall. So okay, so back to this dude that spent sixty three thousand dollars. I will, I will get through this. <laughs> Yo, shut up. The red pill, the red pill community, as we were saying earlier, had a had a field day with it. Uh, you know, y'all are not red pill. Y'all are at all. Y'all no, are no, no, we no. I like to be in the middle. Them. Listen, here's the thing. I said this uh, on someone else's show recently. There's red pill conservative moral superheroes. There's blue pill liberal lunatics who are trying to change people into toaster ovens in 2024. I'm purple pill. I'm right in the middle. I believe there's a lot of nuance in life. I believe there's a lot of gray in between black and white. I believe there's a lot of discussion to be had. I don't think anything's fucking perfect. Unfortunately, that's not popular. Mm -hmm. People want to hear people say, yo, this is the way. And if you ain't doing it this way, you're fucked up and you're going to hell for it. Like that's, that's the type of energy that we have on the internet right now. For sure. 2024 is here. You might be saying to yourself, I'm going to see my favorite artist or sports team 
Live. Live. Well, that's a good thing that SeatGeek is the sponsor of today's show. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Maybe even WrestleMania 40 in Philly or Ruby's next show. Or the Rolling Stones. I'm bringing my mom and I'm buying them on SeatGeek. I Robin actually have already, I, and Jeff Wick, that's we're incredible. all going. They put all the tickets across their web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is graded to make sure you get a good deal and look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. swaps. The call to action that I always do for you guys, the code LOGAN gives you $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. $20 off your first purchase with the promo code LOGAN. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Shout out SeatGeek. Back to the show. So on Red Pill podcast, they don't think you're ever getting a, a man that matters. Ruby, they think they think you are going to be a victim of simps and beta males for the rest of your life because of the profession that you've chosen for yourself, doing OF, shaking your ass. Do you agree with that? Um, I, of course, would beg to differ, you know, because like, but I can understand where people would come from. And I know because of like my work and what I do, you know, it's. What whoever decides to be with me, it's a sacrifice. And like, but um, like knowing me in real life and who I am as a person is different, you know, than who I am on the internet. But also, like, yes, I do be on the internet doing what I do. But like, I'm a I'm a fucking I make a I make a million every month. So it's like that's insane. So you bring that side to the puzzle. But do you um? Let, let me ask you like this: Do you feel like there's a shortage of high value men that are currently? Uh, chasing you these days define high value well uh, yeah i know that that term is fucking ridiculous to be honest with you um uh, men who uh men who hold some sort of moral uh compass who who follow the right things in life who earn money who care for a house or or, or looking for someone who can help them care for a household and the family uh, a religious person a career driven person a motivated person you know a, a supportive person a provider respectfully I have all different types of men from all different types of walks of life coming after me. I pick and choose. I saw I a want. tweet here. It says, excuse me. It's okay. Uh, Ruby Rose, December 16th, 2023. Okay. I have never and will never touch pink dick. I love all races though. Oh yeah, that's right. This one was interesting, Rubes. Is that racist against a, pink dick? No, it's not. And actually, I have, a, I have a confession. My first kiss was a man of Caucasian descent. And I gave him a hand job, and he was white. But <laughs> since then, so I have never second. done so that. that but was, no, the reason that I tweet tweeted that... Wrong, okay, dude. the reason I tweeted that was because... Okay, like... Do you guys know Wolfie Cindy? Of course. Beautiful girl. Yeah. Love her. I don't know her in person. You guys kind of look alike a little bit. <gasps> Thank you. Dude, I, I oh see it a little bit. Okay, mm. thank you. Not really, but um, she's beautiful as hell. Anyway, so I commented on her picture of her and her boyfriend, and I said, "Daddy," like, because like they were like so cute. Like I was like saying like "Daddy," and then like it was like I had like hella retweets, and um, on Twitter they were like, "What the fuck is wrong with Ruby Rose? She's trying to get her nigga." And I'm like, first of all, I don't even respectfully. Y'all are both handsome men, <laughs> but they're I don't even go for white men. So I was really doing that in response to that, but mm. people just you know. So, why, why, why don't you go for white men? I'm just curious. Well, they don't go for me, honestly. That cannot be true. I mean, Lamar, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, in real life, though, white men never approach me. Only, like, black and Latino men. Do you think you're intimidating? Probably so. Probably so. I don't know. Like, like, do you go for black... Well, before you were with your queen now, did you go for black women, either of you? Ruby, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm in your DMs. Shut up! No, you're not. As a joke, you be joking. No, that's part. You be joking. I have to. I have to handle this this conversation very quick because <laughs> I do have a girlfriend, Sarah. We love you, Sarah. We, for sure. So I have to handle this respectfully. But like, yo, we have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be honest. I think I'll speak for my white brethren. There are a lot of pink dicks. <laughs> <laughs> who are probably a little bit fearful of what you are of yeah, what you're no, working with. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, what I think I'm a, I'm a all... lot of women. I'm a lot. I'm sassy. You know what I'm saying? It has to be like a certain type of man that's willing and wants to deal with me. And I don't think, you know, typically like, I don't know. I think white women are more like will listen and yeah. just be okay with getting cheated on and getting played with, you know? 
Because you all, yeah, you also had this. <laughs> I tweet. don't play that shit. Men, oh. men who cheat on their girl deserve to die. Death. Yeah. <laughs> and I stand on that. So if you was, cheat. <laughs> Death? Okay, okay, so let's let's unpack like, that. And for that's a past the age of 25. Because I think after the age of 25, like you're conscious of like what the fuck is you really going on doing. and how you're cheating is so traumatic. No, it's fucked. It's Listen, you're so talking to two traumatic. Neither of us have or ever will fuck ever. Thank you guys. And I Loyal don't, is the I don't, dog. I don't feel like I don't feel like it's even remotely acceptable whatsoever. I think I was taught that that labors of love are the most important thing that we have on this planet. And and if you if you feel Being like a that man way, of your just word, break, just yeah, break just up. leave, just, just leave. break up and go do your fucking thing. But you did get some feedback from another uh, red pillar on this, and I'm you know this is not anything or anything, but Tristan Tate, that's like Andrew out, Tate type shit. His brother, okay, called you out Don't on know it because him. he he basically said, uh, "How would it look if I were to make a tweet that said?" women who cheat on their men deserve to die. Do you think that there's a double standard? No, there? I think what I, I should have said everybody, but I think women typically don't cheat. Like women are just naturally loyal and want to be with one person. Like So that just got clipped because right now there's a massive audience on the internet that believes that women cheat more than men. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but this is a conversation and solely that. Like there's no statistics to back any of this up. And I think I would actually agree with you. I I, I would assume and maybe I'm incorrect that women are kind of more inclined to be loyal. Like they they'll they'll if they have a good man. That's always been the perception. They attach men to their are, man men are and... cheating dogs and that's always been the fucking that's always been the perception. I don't agree that women cheat more. I think men are and there's no there's no science because some people claim there's like this science where that it's like men coded are in wired, your DNA. Exactly, yeah. We're wired to be polygamous, you know, fuckers Genghis and Khan this and that. And pollute the yes. world. <laughs> exactly. Fuck With our seed. <laughs> exactly. But there's really no science that promotes the idea that that men are are Yeah, it's all about self discipline. Like everybody can, you know, control themselves and, you know, one person, monogamy. I mean, teach its own. Whatever you like, you like, but me. You never cheated. I cheated back, back then. Like when I was younger, my nigga would cheat on me and then I would go do whatever Spike I did. Cheat. Yes. I but that's allowed. still, no, that's still wrong. I should have just left. Now where I'm at, at the age of 26, a nigga cheat on me, I'm respectfully, peacefully You're out. exiting. But dudes do need to be mindful of that spite shit because, bro, you, you, I'm going to be honest with you. Every action dudes, gets a reaction. Yeah, but the reaction with women, it tends to, like, dudes will be out there, have a bad night, get fucked up, and 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 fuck a questionable, questionable, questionable dog person, looking hot. right? And I'm telling you, when your girl gets back at you, uh, no. it's, oh, it's baby gonna be with your sick. best friend. Oh, Wait, I don't no. know. Because here's the thing. Dudes are stupid. Girls are conniving. Girl, Girls have no mercy, bro. I'm telling you, dudes, dudes cheat because... They're they're they fucking have momentary lapses. They're stupid girls. When you when they're getting back at you, they they are not thinking about your feelings. They're, in fact, they're making sure that you get it as bad as you possibly can. So I think the penalty men need to think more about what that penalty looks like when it comes back. That is factual. Honest. If if they're getting caught, like how how you how do you catch a guy Me? cheating on you? Oh, catch a guy? Yeah, the girls. Are how the to feds. catch a guy? Cheating. Girls I'm, are the. Feds, I'm going bro. through that phone. If you do not go through your man's phone, that is not your man, bro. Sarah, that's not true. Sarah, yes. that's not true. Don't listen to Sarah. <laughs> I have nothing. You can go through my phone. This, you this, want. Your girl's name is Nina, right? Nina, yeah. Does she go through your phone? Doesn't have to. She has, has my, she has my passcode. Okay. Has she ever like in the beginning relation uh -uh. stages of the relationship? Uh uh. She did admit to me that she used to be like that, uh, but I think I've given her the confidence that. Uh, she doesn't need to. And I invite her to. Like, I don't care. Let me let me ask you a question. Do you know about all the investigation that the CIA and federal agencies are doing right now? Your girl's the feds, bro. If she goes through your phone, you ain't going to know about it. She might tell you. She, yeah, that's She true. knows every fucking text message that's you got in the last year, bro. Trust probably, me. Probably. Especially one that claims they used to be like that. With foot checking up. <laughs> She's like, I used to be like that. Go to fucking take a nap, bro. Uh, your shit is done. Dude. Do you think that's a... Uh, a level of paranoia that you'd like to escape though. Like, right. Yeah, no, I don't want to be, I don't like, I'm going to do it in the beginning stages, but after a while, like I don't, if a nigga makes me feel comfortable enough that I don't have to go through it and like, I'm not questioning it, then no, like I don't want to like be a fucking stalker, weird ass bitch like that. But I want to know if I'm getting cheated on so I can not be with you. Do you look for, do you look for like some signs for like, for example, like 
body his language. Girl, I was his girl doesn't, and to be honest, my, mine doesn't either. Is your girl white? No. <laughs> She I Latina? got a fucking Cuban, bro. Ooh. So, but the reason why is because I don't, um, I think that when you look at our behavior, it's so apparent. Like, dude, like she, she would never be able to find one girl's picture that I liked on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. like, like, I'm you're not respectful. fucking, I'm you're respectful. hundred percent. There's no bullshit. No reason for her to go through the phone. You know what else helps? Not to interrupt you, but yeah, like, no, no. We're, we're busy. We're doing shit, Ruby. Like I got better shit to do than fucking ruin my life. No facts. You know, with some <laughs> hooker. Like I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't care. I'm, I'm with my mo woman. I love her so much. And I have a career that I'd like to follow and pursue. Like she, she's with me all the time. It's just. So you guys are monogamous and don't have a, an agreement. That That's correct. Okay, good. Yeah. You yeah. as well. Oh yeah, no, no, I've I've been hooked up. That's good. Not not a not a big, nor could I ever be a open relationship guy. I I even think I even think if she was down to like run a threesome, I wouldn't be comfortable with another with that. woman. Mm -hmm. You would or wouldn't? Would not. That's good. I I would not either. It just it it's just so feels, hard. feels muddy. It's weird. It feels so oh, hard. It's so hard. I would it's get so jealous. Hard. Yeah, like for watching. sure. You you do one stroke a little too passionately, you're cooked. You are fucking no, cooked. Legit. Son. Dude, it's hard to even manage threesomes when one of the people is not in a really well, like even when you are having a threesome with people you just met that night. Yeah, speak you're trying yourself. to show. I wouldn't know. Maybe so if I you're haven't. a master at it, but I'm just saying, like generally, you're okay. Let me put it like this: when you meet when you meet a couple girls and you go into that scenario, guys will always tell you the truth on this. There's always going to be one of the two that the guy likes a little bit more for sure in the situation. Maybe it's the one they went after originally, and then the friend came along. But like you really gotta, you really gotta split that attention up because it's somebody's got, it's gonna called get. quarterbacking. You gotta be a high school quarterback for that night. Varsity, you're throwing four touchdowns and 210 yards at least. 100. percent And sometimes you gotta step up to the plate. I wouldn't know anything about that. I love my woman. I uh, love her down. You wouldn't either, huh? No. Ever. You never had a threesome? No. No. I like one on one intimacy. Mm -hmm. You're a good girl, Ruby Rose. <gasps> Thank you, Logan Paul. Educated. Thank you. Successful. How would you? describe your career like we were trying to like categorize you a mm -hmm. little bit and it's mm -hmm. a little hard right like are you a model are you a rapper are you a personality trapper trapper, trapper. no i don't know i think i'm just like you know an <clears throat> an entrepreneur um but like i think i'm like an artist like mm. my music is art my pictures are art my sex work and only fans is art so i wanted to ask what are you selling on only fans like i know the spectrum of what appears on OnlyFans is mm -hmm. wide. Wide. Are, are you? Is it nudity? Is it like actual sex acts? Fucking... I have two pages. I have a free page and a paid page. So you know they can. You hook them. They can. Yeah, they they and have two you, options. You catch them. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta ask you this. Yeah, you know what you're doing. You had a uh, recent uh, collaboration with a uh, creator by the name of Neon. That's my homeboy. Hell yeah. Do, uh, okay. For the people who don't know, who did Neon you see is. the podcast where they were like saying that like he put me on? Yeah, yeah. That so was, I wanna... that was a little weird. That was a little weird. So they and he were... defended me. I fuck with him. Like I fuck with him. So well, much. yeah, because they were trying to say that the whole intent of you like doing content with him was to promote your OF. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think that that's true? No, not at all. Like I don't even think I brought it up. And anyways, respectfully. I wasn't the one who set it up. I don't watch like respectfully. I don't watch Dreamers. streaming and shit like that. Some, my person who I work with, they reached out to him and like set it up. And then we built our own personal relationship. Like he'd be going through like some shit and I'd be giving him like big sister advice. But like, of course, like I'm not, I mean, no, I do hang out with like regular people, but you know, I don't, I'm going to hang out with people in my level of like, you know what I'm it, saying? Well, in your sphere, but that's how, but that's how the internet talks in the same way that, that I don't know what show you're talking about that said that, but the same way that that show was saying that you uh, were, were using him or whatever. Like I, I'm close with Aiden. I'm close to a couple different streamers. And I know that they have teams that reach out to people that are exactly like you to, to actually bump their numbers. Nobody's up. exactly like me, but yes, but you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like yeah, they, yeah, yeah. because but they, yeah, cause they do these of, IRL streams all, and they need other people. Yeah, It's social media. Like, you, you know, that's why some people are successful. And that's why some people are. But yeah. Did he ever try to make a move on it? That is a little ass boy. Like, of course he, um, you know, I'm sure he probably th found myself attractive, but like, you know, that's a little boy. Did and you bring him out at your show? And I did in LA. It was lit. But you introduced him as a make a wish kid. <laughs> I did. That's what they told me. That's what they told me. Who, who, who told you? His manager came. 
Oh yeah, that dude's always in some shit, bro. So, uh, and you gave him advice on like, cause I, cause I've, I've talked to him a few times. He be uh, going through it. Like, it's hard, you know, social media, like people aren't, I know, you know, like the way when people come after you and try to cancel you and talk shit about you, that shit affects you. Like really affects well, you. What do you think about his like, okay. Cause I, cause he's, he's in the sphere of people that I'm friends with. I mean, Aiden was like, kind of put him on and was like, his like big brother. He'd be doing Aiden. some wrong stuff. That's what I'm, that's what some I want to Some stuff he'd be like, like violating. I put him on, like I put him on, um, <clears throat> I did. I went on his stream one time and, and like people fuck with me. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, all right, shut up. You 40 year old heroin addict. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't give a fuck. That's, that's fine to me. But then I put my girl on and he's like, you know, like who's this flat chested whore, like fucking like talking okay, shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's like, yeah, no, there's definitely some violations, but I, I will say this, like, how is he behind the scenes? He's sweet and kind and like nervous and has like, you know, he's just a sweet young boy. Like, you know, you have to put on a fucking act to make it on the internet. Like, it's Especially really, streamers. it's hard to, like, I don't know. Do you think for your, were you 100% being yourself? When? Just, okay, now you probably are at your grown age. Because now you've, like, built the hype. But when you were first starting YouTube, you have to be more animated no, yeah, and be more no, crazy. No. Yeah, and I have to be more sexual and more, like, urban and hood. So, you know, you you just have to put on the show i think i think this show is the most genuine version of me people can find because i'm just sitting here talking yeah, for sure uh, uh but no especially when you're first starting out as yeah, well if you, you want to get waves, you want to get that shot content out and you become the worst version of yourself shock, depending shock. on exactly i didn't have to do shit i just had to show up and just be a fucking asshole i'd start dating a like i'm just you know what i'm saying like i'm that was different for me i guess because i had rocket fuel with you so it's a little bit different, but most people, when they first come on, they got to do that kind but of But you're not naturally shit. an asshole. You're no, not an asshole like that. I'm just, you know, right. I was a little bit reckless when I first started, right. you know, and I did shit that I might not do now, which I guess is the case with him. Were you giving him advice on his, uh, his relationship? Yeah, for sure. And he really likes the girl. So it's like, he does. fuck the internet. Fuck what the internet thinks. Like they hate her. They're going to hate any girl who what? does OnlyFans and makes yeah, money. Yeah, kind of like that. Just because I think they think that she's like a like a leech for and i'm not these aren't my words but that she's a leech for and using him for clout but i don't know like he likes her she seems to like him and like and you i know. told him that he, a he asked me on the phone one day he asked me about it and i was like bro like a lot of people are gonna try to give you advice like if you you know what i'm saying like here's the thing men women everybody you have to learn through doing for like sure. device, advice is never that's why all these like red pill podcasts and shit like that like trying to give people this like this black and white guide on how to live life that's not how life works no literally. you gotta touch the fucking stove that's it bro your mom and dad mommy and daddy can tell you all fucking day yo don't touch the stove don't touch the stove it's gonna do this to your life to your career bro i'm on this couch right now because of the mistakes i made in my life literally. i would be working some fucking nine to five right literally. now somewhere i'm sitting here doing doing dope shit having great conversations making impact because of all the shit that I went through. So when I at, when he asked me about his relationship on this 30 second call I had with him, I said, bro, if it feels right, do it. If you like the chick and your homies are telling you not to do it, blah, 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 she's using you for this and that, unless it's so apparent to everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. which it, it doesn't seem like it is, yeah. just go through the motions. If exactly. you get your heart broken, then so be it. And you not go, nice. get, get, you ever get your heart broken? Yeah, yeah. I've got my heart broken. You ever get your heart broken? Absolutely. Nobody's going to tell you, like, your homies are never going to be able to talk you out of that shit. That's not, not how facts. love works. You have to go through the motion. That's it. Go through the Interesting. Motion. Have you done any other streams? Any other streamers' shows? Um, Like Kai, Kai and, like, Aiden. So you're in the zeitgeist of, like, streamer sure. culture. And I know you're not watching these these people. You know who they are, I'm, I'm yeah. sure. But, but you have someone on your team that's like, hey, this could be a good collaboration. Um, well, like with Neon, yeah, but like Kai and Aiden, they just like hit me up because. What about this show? He, what? my, he hit me up, my, my person. Oh, really? Yes. And, and so when you do these, is a part of you thinking that it'll boost specifically OnlyFans numbers? Like I imagine a large part of our audience like, would be like. I mean, like my main, like this is where I'm at. Like my shit grows every month. Like mm. it's going to do what it does regardless. Mm. Like, but also like me as my Instagram, my Twitter, my everything, cause all that shit, it goes in tandem. So like, it just, you know, like, of course I would, I would hope it. I mean, my main focus isn't my OnlyFans. It's really like well, social brand, media in general. Like, well, and I gotta I, keep my shit going. Yeah. Like. So, so, so again, I'm back to the question of like, rapper first, social media star first. I don't want to be known 
as an OnlyFans sex worker, like, no, no, thank you, please, guys. But um, like, I mean, I do music. Like that that's what makes the most money is my OnlyFans. So so but do you, I do do other things. Like my main focus isn't that. So how did you I started make the decision yeah, to in twenty twenty during COVID during the pandemic? For for what reason? Because you My you, ex did it, DDG. He started it first. Mm, and he told me to right. do it. Oh, he got a kid. He did. Congratulations to them. And yeah, so how does anyway, that make you feel? I, I love children and he has been wanting a child. So I think that's lovely for them. But no, no. Like, no ill feelings. Absolutely not. It's a baby. So he started, he convinced you, right? Yeah. He was like, like people had been telling me to do it because I would like twerk on Instagram for fun already. Yeah. And then, yeah, I did that. Dropped out of college and moved to LA. And my life has just been like going up since. What have you been buying? That's a lot of money. A million dollars a month. Surely you're spending it on some dope shit. Um... I've bought a couple houses, some cars for myself and my friends and my family, um, and just like property. Like I'm, I'm very frugal. Like we're all three sleeping in the same bed at the hotel together. No way. We're flying Frontier home. Like yeah, but is the hotel the Ritz? The hotel's not the Ritz. Yeah, like we. I, I live frugal. Did we, did we book her? No, you guys didn't. But it's okay. Uh, Stay in the Vanderbilt. The Vanderbilt's is it, fantastic. It's, it's so oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. But you're frugal. Yeah. I would say so. You have money in the bank? I mean, I have money invested in place. But yeah, I definitely have money in the bank. I'm not spending. What are you I, investing? Um, like I have, I don't know, like JP Morgan shit. And then I have like, I'm doing like AI crypto and then like, you know, like Bitcoin shit and like. Damn. Respect. What about you? You know what I invest in? Like, uh, uh, what is it called? Like strategic, uh, unique assets. So alternative, alternative, alternative investments. investments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Pokemon cards. Fossils, uh, I mean, it's all collectible, collectible like, like kind of umbrella. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. things I like. Like, I have a triceratops skull in my house that is a real dinosaur uh -huh. skull. Wow, how much was that? 500k. Wow, but it's like it's sick, bro, because it's like a it's a piece of art, it'll yeah. hold its value. And every time I walk by it, I'm like, oh my god, the planet is oh, wait, no, wait, I, I buy stuff like that. I'm just saying, like, in certain things, like flights and hotels, like shit that I'm only gonna be on for like a couple hours, but aren't but don't you read all that off? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, that's I travel to 140 flights last year. I do. I <clears throat> book a lot of travel because I could write it off. It's part of my mm. content. But I would one thing I would piece of advice I would give the audience and maybe to you as well right now on this investment tip is there's a lot of people out there who don't know what they want to do with money. So they just let it sit in their bank account. That's so not good. To it's do not guys. at the very, very, very least. There are, and fuck, do I have to say this is not investment? It's not really an investment. The, talk to your investment specialist on this because there are very easy ways to earn a substantial amount of interest on your sideline sure, cash. For, sure. for example, I just moved a lot of my cash to a, to a, um, a premium savings uh, deposit account that offers 5.4%. <laughs> What? Why do you feel like you're doing a commercial? No, that's <laughs> no, it's good. Not a commercial they because, need to know that yeah, people yeah. don't know shit because, like this because it's so yeah. easy and it's 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 risk adverse. It's just a savings account that offers you f over five percent interest on your cash. So if you're risk adverse like I am, I'm scared of a lot of things. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, losing money. Hell I like yeah. to shuffle money away. It, at least you're getting some level of interest on that cash. So that look into it. This is not financial advice, but but look into it. Um, do you? I'm, I want to talk about this. this relationship history if you don't mind a little bit we can touch on some things like with, with which one you you can also tell them the i want to i want to respect because like he's no, in I'm a not. relationship and they just had a baby so i definitely no no, like, no, 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 okay. no i wasn't even gonna bring okay. that up that's actually not even on my well yeah this shit no, no no i wasn't gonna say that i was just gonna i guess what i'll say is this you have a a, a history of dating people in the in the space as you move more towards serious relationships would you consider dating or taking seriously relationships with people outside of the industry absolutely i do not want a man in the mix lord i do not like unless like they're like the token ones like me which genuinely like they're not um no i don't what want do you mean by that like i don't know but maybe like i've been in the mix since i was like 16 so i'm like out of the mix like i make my money I do my shit on the internet and like that's like, you know, I'm not trying to be in the club, in the strip club, you know, fucking and getting like clout from like random ass shit. So, um, okay. So you mean like, you mean like more off the grid, 
people that I guess the idea of having been in the space for a while definitely makes sense because generally when you first get in that's when you're firing off yeah and also like I feel like I've like I've seen it all type shit and like niggas haven't seen it all yet and they want to like fuck every bad bitch with the BBL that they see no no disrespect to BBLs but so it's like you know I want a nigga who doesn't care about you know that type of shit exactly is there a is there a body count on the on the men's side that dissuades you mm -hmm. or would you assume that the dude that you're going to be with pro probably has has ran what happened somewhere? before me like that like everybody you know has a fucking past so you know i have a past so no i don't i like it. what matters is the now and the future so do you think if you found a, a nice guy who was not in the industry they'd like understand your lifestyle yeah really mm -hmm. it's complicated though you, you you do a lot you travel a lot if mm -hmm. you wanted to come home and talk about work or even like social media strategy and this person has no idea like what how, or how Instagram works, that would be difficult, no? Mm, yeah, but like like the internet is in my whole life. Like, you know, like I travel a lot and mm. I, but like, you know, I make a lot of money so I can like bring them with me. And Fair, fair. You're just obviously, I can tell you, super um, like goal oriented, especially when it comes to your career. Like you're out here like hustling. Absolutely. So having a partner who also acts as a bit of a soundboard is nice at least mm -hmm. like for me that was always my concern like I, I i before nina i was like i i'd love what type of woman were you dealing with before that um like they, influencer woman yeah like well they all they all knew my world at least like a little bit mm -hmm. and, and and it it i found it difficult to converse and really establish a long-term relationship with someone who didn't know what the fuck i was doing and and what i'm doing is like nuanced and weird but there are parts of it that they would understand and that was always nice. Yeah. You know, I like, mean, yeah. Like you're making money. You have to understand, bitch. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 <laughs> yeah. that's exactly what that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever would you ever consider uh dating a dude that makes significantly less than you? Yes. How come you gave Paul Pierce the wrong number? Who said it was the wrong number? You well, I know it was, <laughs> well, I know it was well, I know it was the right number for for like would you ever would you do you fuck with Paul Pierce would you ever let him take you on a date um uh he's a nice man but respectfully like I think the age gap is a little how, how old is he I'm unsure do you have a a list in your head of qualities that you look for in men absolutely what I pray it? for them every day um like the the like number one thing is just like loyalty lovingness and like you know making me happy so like what's the number two thing Loyalty, lovingness. Like, I like affection and, like, being, like, very sweet and loving. And um, loyalty is number one, loving. Is 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 loyalty, like, has that been a problem for you? It's been oh, the sure. outstanding like, like, I'll be honest, factor in every relationship. Really? I'm traumatized. Like, I think I might need a little therapy. Really? Probably not. But, yeah. It's, that's so funny to me. Like, I had a list as well. Mm -hmm. and, and loyalty wasn't on it because, like, to me that's a fucking given if you're not a loyal person we're not even having no, a conversation like i think this generation is so fucked up like bitches really think that all niggas cheat and like they don't they don't but a, a lot do a lot do or maybe the ones like i don't know i seem to like be picking like the same type of nigga have you have you ever caught a man in like a in the hyper act. hyper elaborate in the, in act? the act no well not f actually fucking her but like one time like i caught the nigga with the bitch in the car and he had her hide in the back seat yeah, and then I closed the door and went to my hotel. What's the most elaborate cheating scheme? Like, have they ever named the the, the person they're cheating with like a, a, a homie's Hut. name or Pizza Hut delivery guy? Settings. Um, <laughs> mm, no, but then like, I get smart about it. Like one time, my homegirl was getting her lashes done by a girl who was fucking with my nigga. And like my homegirl recorded the whole conversation while she was getting her lashes done of the girl like talking about how she knew that me and this nigga was together and how they'd be fucking with each other. And she like helped him pick out the jet for the birthday that I went on. And oh. and then he like begged her not to tell me and like sent her flowers. And then she like showed me like all the texts of him begging her to not tell me. So it's like niggas just go through great lengths of lies. Maybe it's time to try some white dudes. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, hey, I mean, That's what I'm thinking. Nah, nah. Nah, we suck as well. No, but it's not. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't, I guarantee you that. I don't no, know. Nothing changes. No, nothing no, no, changes. no, I don't know. It's, but you there, gotta maybe deal with a certain type of guy. No, but maybe there is a statistical breakdown. I, I don't, I don't believe I don't that. think so. No, I'm sure there's some level of, of 
statistics or data on ethnic cheating breakdown i'm sure th- i'm I don't sure know. there's data it goes for everything. it goes both ways like you know latinos are known for being like super loyal and loving to their sweethearts but then also on the other hand they be you know just like y'all like why we it's everybody it's everybody it's all ethnicities it's hu- we're the human race it everybody's the same on, it just depends on how you it just depends on how you view it right like there's a lot of people out there who view uh, there's a lot of men out there who view cheating as like something that's like somewhat acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like what you wouldn't want done unto you, you don't do to other people. Well, well, no. Listen, us all on this couch and in this room get it completely. But what I'm saying is, there's a subset of men out there who think, yo, like, like, I provide, I make all this money, I do all this stuff for you, I buy you all this shit, whatever. Th- this is not me defending it, but you mm-hmm. got to admit because no, you've yeah, been yeah, through yeah, it yeah, yeah. that there are dudes who think like this. One thousand. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna get mine, I'm gonna come home, and you're not gonna find out about it. And it's it, it is what it is. Like, dude, you see it in popular culture too. You see it on The Sopranos. Tony Sopranos got his guma, his fucking side chick. The 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 fact that the term side chick even exists is evidence of what I'm saying. Like we 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 live in a culture where we're cheating is at least somewhat. It's it, a social norm right now. It is a little bit. It's not a social norm, but it's at least part of the conversation. But, but I've never cheated. So in is my being broke. Life. A lot of people are broke, and a lot of people are cheaters. And you know, I don't want to be as that. I don't want to be either. I think they're broke because they spend their money trying to not look broke. Ugh. The f- the flex and the appearance perception is often reality for a lot of people. Can mean a lot to a lot of men, specifically yeah. young men. They're focused on the wrong things. Do do you? ever reach out to guys you're interested in or you, you let them come to you i let them come to me. i'm old-fashioned in always. that sense always right wouldn't i wouldn't you be a little suspicious like bitch why do you, do your girls come to you i'm sure girls come to you but the ones that you actually want did, did nina come to you or did you go to her she came to you no no it, a little bit of both the night we met definitely she she made the effort because mm. she, she had kind of she kind of she abandoned me for a project or sorry she abandoned my project we like we were about to work together professionally Mm -hmm. for um a photography photography project i was shooting okay and she canceled last minute and i took like a little bit of offense to it of course it was like weeks of contracts and shit but like in her in fairness like i was not offering her like a lot of money and uh, it just i can see why she didn't do it Mm -hmm. and so i was like all right whatever the night we met, she she made the effort to 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 rectify the to, situation. To, to come meet up, and okay. I was like, all right, like that's cool. And then we hit it off, and I was fucking engaged. <laughs> I love that. It's it's okay. nice, Ruby. I'll, I'll be honest with you. She checked off every item on my list, and then I had to add items to my girlfriend list called the wife list that I I didn't even know were so perfect for me that 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 she can do. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the person will come along and, and and timing is a lot of it as well. And it happened the old fashioned way, which I love. There's no dating app. There's no DMs. Yeah, it was real life. We ran into each other at the right time, worked out. And I take pride in that, in this like generation that. full Hell of yeah. fickle internet bullshit, you know? 1000%. I love that for you. What yeah. about you, Mike? Where'd you run into Shorty? <sighs> So, anyways, what's, what, <laughs> nah, my, my, dude, because I'm gonna say it, it's fu- it's just stupid, but like, because I can't explain it. Like, it's gonna be one of those situations where I'm like trying to make an excuse for my girl. My Sarah was like, had been like partying in my. She's from Miami. She's been partying in Miami since she was like 14. She's like 25 now. Okay. So she she had like completely given up on love. No, well, maybe, but given up on like the party lifestyle. Okay. But. It just so happened that, like, I, so first of all, I haven't. I'm kind of like an idiot. It's okay. Enjoy yourself. Well, I do, but I'm responsible. I don't do it. And by the way, I'm out occasionally. I'm not out all the For time. How long should a man enjoy himself going out, like age wise? Like, it just depends. Like, like it really just depends. If you have money, if you're broke, you should not be partying. <laughs> like, use that energy and time. Right. But if you have money, enjoy yourself, celebrate life. Clip it short to Sarah. You're good. No, I'm good regardless, bro. I make the fucking rules. I mean, I'm just saying. No, I'm just playing. I'm no, playing. I'm, I'm playing. Sarah, look, please look, don't Mike, hit me. Mike's please don't. I said, Mike, when you turn 40, I don't want to see you at Hyde. I, I don't want to see you no, at No, I club. haven't been to Hyde in a long time. I, I, regardless, like if I see like 40 plus year olds, like yeah, it's, it's, it's about, questionable. Yeah, like, what the fuck are you doing? That's questionable. And so yeah, you're, strange, good, but, you're good but now, but Mike, you got to. It is strange, but also at the same time, my my belief in life is that like you'll never hear me tell somebody what to do. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck. If you want to be 98 years old in the club. Yeah, enjoy yourself. And, 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 by the way, and like, I believe in what you're saying to an extent, but like, and broke. I, I just, I come from a weird place. I'm a weird no, person. You so I don't do, give a yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, what yeah. you do as long as you're not trying to tell me what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not, no, I'm not telling, I'm just, but, I'm no, not I telling get it. anything. I get I'm, it, but. I would definitely be like, oh, what the fuck? No, I get it. But, 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 but anyways. So I met her, I was at Story, honestly, on a night when French Montana was performing in Miami yeah in Miami at story it was the last night story was open so I went because the Nelk boys were doing an event there and I was with Sam and Shahidi and Kyle and everybody we went there and I met her there because she was randomly there with one of her friends for like a birthday or something so it just sucks that that's the storyline because we don't club we don't it's go okay. out we don't party but that is where we met and I at saw story. her and I was like yo that girl's fucking beautiful started talking to her I don't have a checklist for my girlfriend I just like I run off vibes yeah you like what you like Exactly. So I met her and I was like, oh, she's dope. And here we are. You know, it was like seven months ago. Period. Y'all locked in. Yeah, it's great. And Saweetie told her that, uh, Saweetie told her at F1 that, uh, she, she said, that boy love you. You must have that good pussy. She must. That's what <laughs> that's hey. what, she really took a lot of, she really pride took a lot that. of pride from Saweetie, <laughs> Saweetie saying I would, that. I would, I would say that <laughs> shit. When did you start popping off and why? Um, like I would say like 2014, like I, I used to have really curly hair, but now I like straighten my hair all the time. So I don't gross, but I used to have a hella curly hair. And then like, I would post pictures and like curly pages, like would post me. And then I got like followers. Whoa. whoa. And then I did bad and bougie. Oh, that's and then right. I, like, did you start rapping? Cause you could rap or you wanted to rap? Like really? I did it like as a joke in college. And then like, like people talk so much shit that it made it kind of get lit. And then I just kept trying. And then like my second song, like is still today, like my latest song that I did. Isn't it funny how you could make such a uh, like run off people talking shit about your work? Yeah. It's, it's wild. Like, Cause there's like this TikTok kid. It's like, just saying this right now, like Kevin, I know you're going to know who I'm talking about. You know that dude, uh, is it Lil Mabu? Oh Do you yeah, know what I'm talking he's about? fire. That but, boy but is like smart. He, but his like he put out the first few tracks, and and everybody was like, "Yo, who is this white he's kid?" Tall. It's like Slim Shady. It's a hunt, but it's deeper than Slim Slim Shady because when M did it, M was talking about I'm a drug addict, like real or white. Weird Al Yankovic. That's no, what I'm no, no, about. but but let's. No, nah, hold on. Let's stick with M for a sec. <laughs> when M did it, he was talking about problems in suburbia, addiction, f f like childhood trauma, abuse, mm -hmm. shit like that. So people were like, okay, it's weird that he's rapping, but at least he's rapping about that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Lomabu does it. And from the shit that I've seen, he's like, yo, I'm coming to shoot up your your city. Like, he's trying and to he's, drill. And he, yeah, he's dr a drill rapper, but he's like a Catholic school kid, right? Yeah. But he's from New York, right? Yeah. He's in the mix. I don't know. I don't under understand enough about it, but the question I'm going back to is like, Technically, that's enough to propel your career. The hatred does as much as the love does. Literally. Views. The, the hate is love. The, the hate is love. Because you're still tuned in, still fucking watching, still taking the energy to type some motherfucking shit. Engagement. Yeah. Do you so. think 99% of, I always like to say that 99% of hate is just jealousy with a mask on? Probably, yeah. For sure. And like people on the internet 95%. are, are yeah, weird. Yeah, maybe a little lower. Do you ever have How people much? come what up? What else could it be? I don't know. Ninety five is a lot on online hate. Like, like I mean, bro, I mean, Tana flamed Matt Rife on her podcast because he he said that he's like, you know, what? I just realized that like people people who hate on you they're just jealous of you. And Tana was like, okay, so like people who hate on Osama bin Laden are they jealous of him? No, but no, but like so so it's she, just a blanket statement. No, 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 quite no, but apply. that's why I gave it. But that's why I'm trying to give it a percentage. I would just lower the percentage a little. Bit. But I, I, how much? Where would you go? Because like, because like Osama bin Laden is like a sh exception that's, to that's, the rule. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like, bro, you bring up you. Br there's a lot of other people that people hate on online. And you look at why. Do people ever hate on y'all in person? Like people only come oh, to y'all with positivity. Ruby. Never, never. I never is, get no negative. It is astounding. Issue. Yeah, people. The internet is the most unreal place. No, ever. literally. And by the way, the people who do have the courage and like boldness to hate on me in real life, like let's talk. Yeah, what? Let's talk. Like there, we can figure this out. I'm yeah. a human just like you, and like you said, hate and love are this far apart. It's the same emotion, just a little bit in the opposite direction. Like. Literally. The, the same reason, like you could be so loving in a relationship, homie cheats on you, now you fucking hate him. Mm -hmm. But how you went from the opposite end of, ends of the spectrum like that, like they're 
They're it's very the close together. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they always leave the conversation. It's it's funny. We had we just had this conversation all week while we were together. We just went on this on the ski trip, and for y'all's pictures with you. Uh, yeah, for a hundred people that that came up and you know talked to them. 99 were like, yo, like huge fan, love what you're doing, WWE. There was, there, I and think then it, I think one it dude, <laughs> he went off a ski jump <laughs> and he said he was in the air for so long that he was able to say, I fucking hate you, Logan Paul. While he, he was screamed, flipping in the air. It was incredible. I'm gonna be honest, that was, was awesome. planned no, and he's dope. a fucking weirdo. It but sick. it's funny, like I'm serious. Like it's almost like 99 to one. Like I really like it. What is the percentage? You yeah. know what I'm saying of it? But. They always come out of the conversation like, oh, you know what? Actually, it's not that bad. Like, you got to people make past judgments online. They need to come speak to people. Well, hate, that hate, conversation. hate is like a weird thing to do in person. Mm -hmm. Like, who got that? Who goes out of that? their way to tell you, I don't like you? If you don't like somebody, you just steer clear. Yeah. Shocking. You ever experience anything like that? Or people just come? No, people only want to take pictures and Will hug. you take pictures with fans? Of course. Always. Always. Every single time. Even at dinner. Even at motherfucking no dinner. fucking way. Yeah, because guys, like without them, I would not be. You know, fair. without them, without fair. we wouldn't be anything. No fair. I some someone um, I was taking pictures on the mountain and like if I'm not at dinner, I will. Every person pretty I'll much tell always them, take like, a picture. After no, I eat, always. Let's do it. That, that's okay, what I'll yeah. say as so, well. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'll say. Like it, I don't ha take pics at dinner or like in the bathroom is weird. Like okay, at the urinals, that's and, weird. like leave me the fuck yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but outside, fine. Um, uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. Um. You were. Nope. Get nope. back on the train. Nope. It's gone. I think it's gone forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you ever watch WWE? Truthfully? <laughs> That's where your brain, that was no. your savior right there. <laughs> that was his save. His so, brain's so, like, come up with one of the brains, quick. <laughs> Arch, you already tried Prime? Uh, do, do you ever watch WWE? <laughs> like that was, that's where his brain goes. So, so you're, not, you're not a Kevin Owens fan? I don't. I don't. I don't like violence. Yeah. Truthfully, he yeah. Kevin Owens knocked him out. Look at his eye. I, I was gonna ask that. It, he didn't knock me out. When was this? Well, he knocked you uh, down two days ago. Two days ago? That's when you got that belt? Uh, no, no, I've had the belt. Make no mistakes. <laughs> I'm the reigning United okay, States green, champion. Green. Uh, <laughs> is this a joke or is it serious? No, he got, he, got okay. he did. He got he hit me with an elbow. Yo, you know what's you know what's is crazy? that legal? Elbow me. It's legal. Uh, I will say in wrestling. So you do wrestling, not boxing. I do both. Okay. But I'm gonna focus on wrestling. You walked in here. You said uh, I'm with the world champ, and I had to correct you. I was like, well, technically, it's the United States champ, but I'm going for the world championship. You should. Which why not, Ruby? You know, absolutely. Like, shoot for shoot the stars. For the stars. Um, what was about to say? What were we gonna say? I just want to say quickly that his eye, because I, I, he needs to be humbled every once in a while. Like, let's be honest, bro. He's the United States champ. It's it's nice when he gets knocked around, but that that's gonna heal. That for sure, is gonna go down, and I don't want him to forget about it. I don't want him, for him to forget what happened. So I got something for you, actually, to remind you. I got you a Kevin Owens action figure. Is that like the legend? No, that's a guy who did it to him. <gasps> and I want to make sure that you always have a reminder Ooh, okay. that that's that that Kevin Owens did this. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Hey, get, get this shit out of here. Also, also. He doesn't have this type of definition. <laughs> he doesn't have... Fuck that! Nah, no shot. He's my next opponent. He's my next opponent. You're going to beat the shot at him. I'm a, I'm, I have to. I'm defending my title. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Nah, you should come to an event. If you're ever if you're ever in the same city as us, Ruby. Hell yeah, I want to come. So I, I, as someone who comes as an outsider, would say yes and... Are you... Every time you hit him, he comes back to me too. Where'd he go? No, so, so, so look, there's obviously like a theatrical component to it. Like I'll exaggerate, but I'm a dramatic, I'm a drama queen. I love drama. Like I'll, I'll. I talk you be you shit. be shit talking. I like it. I be talking my shit. <laughs> It'd be good. Drama king, more like a bitch. Bro, Boy, stop, you stop, 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 stop. I'm actually gonna fire you from this podcast. <laughs> you can't fire him. He got equity. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, technically, you can fire me. You can fire me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Doug. Wait, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. What's up with the heroin jokes? 
Well, mm. we're all right. I will say this. Mm. I will say this. It's been we're a dark, repeated. We're a dark group. Okay. So I yeah. I have a, <laughs> everyone knows I have a past with drug addiction. Are you asking like why are they making? No, it genuinely, because like, I remember you said that. Um, Neon said you something about oh, heroin, yeah, and then no, he just said I it. A, I have a past with addiction, so it's become. It's just we're all kind of a dark community. Like he, it's my go-to. Cause there's not, let's be honest, Mike's a phenom. He's, he, he, beat, and a fiend. He, he, and a fiend. He beat a heroin addiction. <laughs> really? Should, should be dead. Like, w was, uh, you were shooting up for 10 years and beat not it. Not all the time, but I did shoot up once, yes, but I, I didn't do it all the time. He was more opiates, but I'll, I'll do that. No, 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 no. It, it, that would be opiates. Yeah, but, but I sniffed isn't, it isn't the, okay. the method of injection different? No, I just sniffed it. And there's not much I can roast Mike on besides, you know, his hair, his age, his feet, his ex. <laughs> A girlfriend. Uh, what, what do you mean, my ex girlfriend? You have a problem with sex workers? No, not at all. What? No, hey, <laughs> I don't want any problems. No, no, no. Just uh, you know. Actually, no, nah, I can't even roast him for that. This is what I'm saying. Like he's besides the real like surface level stuff. Mike's a phenom. So I, I if I could What's take a, a shot, phenom? a phenom, like um, phenomenal person. Take that, yeah, yeah. Essentially, a phenom. He's a very special, unique, outstanding human. Hey, thanks, man. I got you, Mike. I do love you. Set down the fucking Kevin Owens action figure. I love you too. When's your guys' birthdays? April first. I'm an Aries. Okay, interesting. You Capricorn. Capricorn. So your birthday's coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm a Libra. What does it mean? Um, I don't know. Kim Kardashian and Cardi B are Libras, so. In mm -hmm. Doja Cat. Those two as like um. Yeah, I look up to them. I like them and their lives and how they carry themselves. You're not a Barb. Nicki Minaj is a lovely lady, or her music is lovely, and she's a lovely lady. What if you had to choose only one of the two? Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's yeah. A trap. Oh, they also do. Don't team do like their Yeah, I like both. They're both very respectful fire women, is what you're gonna say. What about you? Who do you choose? <sighs> oh no, nah. yeah, I don't know. Little I'm baby, little question. baby, or little Dirk? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I love Dirk. Okay, what about you? Dirk for sure. Just because. You? Just be. <gasps> Little baby, I'm sorry. No, I'm that's from fine. Atlanta. No, that's uh, fine. See, I, I I know Dirk. I know Pete. Shout out Pete. Shout out Dirk. Shout out all the Chicago guys. I met Dirk. He's a cool. Pete, athlete. awesome. Yeah, Pete. Unnecessary balling. He's, he's, oh, okay. he's Dirk's manager and oh, okay. also Juice and okay, okay. The whole side. Like Bibby and them. Type Bibby, shit? same exact. Shout out Bibby. Like that whole squad. So I got to take Dirk on that one. And I would and I would choose Dirk anyways, just by way of music. And I know a lot of people might argue that because Baby has a lot of fucking. Tracks. Isn't it interesting though how they always like try to pit them two together and they what? never pit niggas against each other and there's so many niggas? Why? I think I think pitting people against each other is natural. People pit Jake and I against each other all the time. We're brothers. Honestly, but you he, guys you guys look very similar. Okay. Except one doesn't have tattoos. I, That's I not was what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because I don't understand that at all. People four one in five people think I'm Jake. I'd, Yo, that's Jake Paul. I'd be getting y'all confused. I didn't know who no I was doing the interview way. with. Tell me, how, tell me why. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't know. I didn't know who I was doing the interview <laughs> I'm sorry. But so no, y'all are both amazing. Wait, can we do, wait, can I quiz you on some things? But I, I was like looking through both of y'all's Instagrams. I like stalked y'all's Instagrams. And y'all look like gladiator white men. Like y'all look very like, you Interesting. know what I'm like, I feel like I may have been born in the wrong generation. I, I say that in a compliment. Like y'all are like Thor. Is that what you're saying? Oh, Thor? thank you. Yeah. Thank Who you. do you think is more Thorish, him or Jake? I don't know. Jake has that beard. Do you have siblings? I do have two sisters. Older, younger? One older, one younger. Oh, you're the middle child? I'm the problem child, like your little brother. Oh, no way. The middle? He's a middle child as well. What's going, what is it with the middle child? Do, do they not get like the same amount of attention as as, as the first child and last child? Like, That's usually the case, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Do, do you get along with them? Mm-hmm. Is having, did your parents, um, Stay married? No, they divorced when we were like 10. Oh, young? Y'all's divorced too. Yeah. Same, same, almost same age. You got any weird uh, DMs from anybody like strange? Absolutely, but I don't want to, you know, put oh, anybody oh, on blast. Exposure? No, that's lame. Are you going to expose people? No. <sighs> no, guys don't do that. Yeah. But it's I feel sassy. like I, I, didn't, I didn't know if that was your type of thing. Because I was no, going to no, no. ask you like, I, I'm sure all the normal people are in there. For sure. I know Lil Wayne's in there. I know Actually, for a fact. no. And, Antonio Brown. Oh, he's a hundred. Who, who's that? A B. A B. I don't think he's. I don't think him. That's actually, not that's not possible. Um, um, what what will get you to respond to a DM? Business. That's how niggas trick me. Is they'll oh. be like, "Let's work," and I'm all about working. And then I I get there, and it's 
Oh. It's not about work. So got it's the, not about that. So <laughs> think you should get there. That's you get so there funny. butt ass naked. Like, yo. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, my yes. D, my what about DM. you? What gets you to respond? You don't respond to people? Uh, Well, now it's just, it just work. Um, But like, I definitely when I was single and I would like shoot off DMs to, to women, which I didn't do often at all. I would probably send maybe like five, six DMs a year just because I, I, it felt like... Uh, it felt like I was just shooting blanks almost mm -hmm. like in the dark. And I don't know. I wasn't like, what is the proper hook to get a baddie? I never was able to like figure it out through a DM. Like what? Well, like DMs don't do shit. Like I ne I've never like if nothing's ever gone far through a DM. We, we, I, I guess trying to, to drink through work was was like, is probably the best. Who would, who would ever do? Who would ever do that? Me to Ruby. Nah, let's shoot some content when I get you to mix up our audience. He, 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 he got a DM to you that says, let's shoot some content. You said that to me? And guess what? You responded. What'd I say? With a cry laughing emoji. No, but then, <laughs> no, but then she said, <laughs> no, but then she said, when we link it out here. Oh, shit. Sure. Which was to do that, to shoot content. But, but, um, no, what are you talking about, bro? We used to school, we used to have an academy on DM classes five, four years ago when we were single. The, the go to when we were single. Let's be friends. Resp no, was, it's respond to stories. Respond to you make stories. A, you, you make a relatable fucking comment about a story which by the way that was the first time i ever dm'd was with that you posted some shit about dudes like not take wanting to take you out to dinner and i said i made a reservation for us at applebee's and you thought that was funny <laughs> <laughs> you said the that's sweet. That's sweet. but i'm just saying like yeah you're re you're responding to stories with something relatable something funny and you're cracking the ice and honestly like if if you're if you're not like in some like looking for like marriage type shit like right off the bat if you're just at, you're watching this you're 24 years old you're trying to slide in on a girl you could be a little bit playful, like say some, yeah, say some shit that like balances like Yeah, not banter. you're pretty or you're bad because yeah, we get that, that all the time. The playful shit It's is almost better. like you're like really, really politely and kindly talking shit. Type Do you shit. know what I'm saying? Type like that's, that, that's always been the recipe, like very like in a sweet way, but not like a mean way. So then how many DMs, unreciprocated DMs is too many? If a homie's two, three, four D two, <laughs> leave it at two. Yeah, right. stop at two. Yeah, or like find a way to like see them in real life and run into them in real life. Like, cause that real life shit, you know, it's better than like show up at their hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, he did. He did get to take a picture. But, I mean, um, I mean, yeah, you know, it worked. But at what point are you stalking? You know, like yeah. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've had like l legit stalkers. No, no, surprisingly, no. I'm very like shocking safe. You post where you are after you've been there. Yeah, and if I even do do that, actually, yeah, when I used to, I, I try not to like really post too much anymore. Too many details. On your stories. On my stories, yeah. Yeah, because I imagine you, you got to be kind of careful about what you're doing, a little cautious. Yeah, but it's not even like I'm. I think, um, like I don't even think danger is not going to come towards me because I don't put out, you know. I don't think stuff like I know it can happen. I hate that attitude, Ruby. Really, Ruby, Ruby come careful. on. Yeah. That's like, like people. That's I think like it's like me getting a gun. Like I wouldn't get a gun because I don't think I need a gun. That's how everybody. That's how I used to be, but now like you just can't be like that anymore. Like let's put it like this. Like technically, like with the amount that you put yourself out by way of your work. Okay. You're attra you're attract. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, you need true. to be ready for that type of shit. But everybody out there should be prepared for self defense. I'd be with niggas with guns like around me, so it's like Always. I don't. I yeah. think I'm. I'm okay. Are they legal guns? Because that's a whole other thing. Or are they brat brat? I don't know. Brat. Truthfully, I don't know. I don't ask questions. Just just because if you were to use an illegal gun, that's Who, a, me? No, not you. If they? Yeah. You know, I, I feel like using a, an illegal weapon is far less likely than using a legal weapon that you're allowed to be holding. We have our CCWs here in Puerto Rico. Concealed carry. Permit. I know your brother was telling me he loves guns. Yeah, what he did he? Uh, he probably and he had loved it on him. He probably cards. had it on him. And yeah, he did. He's, he's by the way, so did his homies. Probably. Yeah. What did he say? He told me like, because I was like, "What's the difference between you and your brother?" He's like, "I like guns, and he likes Pokemon cards." <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so lame. When I introduced Jake to Nina for the first time, you know, like it, both of us, you don't. Do you they don't, like each other? They do like each other. That's good. Uh, he was he was skeptical at first just because he's my brother and I, I'm always gonna be skeptical of any girl he is bringing around regularly and so is he. But mm -hmm. um, um, they're 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 tight now. They're cool. That's good. Um, but the first time Nina met Jake, I was like, all right, you know, like this guy's a character. Like you you said, you're like he's a special boy. He like, he, he was very calm. Like 
Um, he's, he's calm. calm. He's calm, but he's he is unique. He, I was like, yo, Nina, come meet Jake, and we walked into this gym downstairs. A homie's reloading like four shotguns oh, right boy. at the door, right, at the, <laughs> right at the door. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. That's Jake my Paul. brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we stay protected. I'm not naive at all to random acts of violence or intrusions against us. I'm actually a little. I feel like paranoid. that's more like boy shit, though. Yeah, like, you probably. But but a nigga but would it, just try to take me, but I can't get took. Why can't you get took? Cause there's niggas behind me, following behind me everywhere I go. But there's, I mean, there's like four of you right here. You got him. He's a photographer. There's somebody, but he's freelance. There's somebody outside in the car waiting. To, if, if somebody go, comes through that entrance, uh, oh, there's shit. people in the car waiting. Oh, so you're all so you're all set. Can, can we talk uh, about uh, so, some weird shit? Do you do you like anything outside the space? Do you li like study dark matter, black holes, or aliens? Like, um, what's some weird shit that no one knows about Ruby Rose that doesn't involve OF, doesn't involve rappers, doesn't involve fucking any of that shit? Mm, hmm. Like, what's your hobby? You got any hobbies or interests? You know what? Zero hobbies. No, I mean, like, okay, like, I like. Money? I mean, no, okay, like, I like, <laughs> like, um, like, mermaids. And, like, um, I mean, like, I like. Like princesses and princes and kings. Like, but I do like, you study like that? No, like, I don't study it. No, I don't. I'm not gonna lie. Do so you? you? Just, we like, we studied like random shit we're into. We're, I'm I'm into UAP, U unidentified aerial phenomena, like UFOs. Okay. I'm into, I'm I into like UFOs. conspiracy theories, like shit like that. You do? Like you, you know you know the shit in Miami, like there was like hey, that's what I was asking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. That's exactly what I was trying to pull As across into. the street from my house. Yeah. Literally. Oh, Bay Bayview, Bayside. Bayside. Let me ask you a question. Aliens visit Earth. They've traveled four million. Yeah, real. I know they've aliens traveled four real. million light years. These beings, right? They come into our atmosphere. Where are we going to go? Should we visit the Pentagon? Should we learn about the secrets? You're telling me these motherfuckers went to Bayside, Miami. That's where they pulled up. <laughs> That's where they. That place is a shithole, Ruby. <laughs> a shithole. I had one of the worst empanadas of my life at that place. And you, you think the ten foot alien said, "Let's go to Bayside. <laughs> we can go. We can go to Eleven afterwards and party with hookers." Like, bro, they're fucking super intelligent beings. Why would they go there? Why the fuck would they go there? I, I had the same question. That seems like not a even that, <laughs> but like, but like, like why people, not though? Why not? It. it yeah, Eleven's lit. They, 11's wait, lit. they do have that. Oh my god. They have that fucking Ferris wheel there. There's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you guys think the the Earth is flat or round? Oh, don't ask. Why do you ask? That question? I'm just wondering, like, what like what type of time are y'all on? Who's asking? Ruby. Who do you work for? I'm just just a question, guys. What do you think it is? I don't want to sound retarded, so I want to hear what y'all think. Do you not say it? I think it's flat. Like, I think. It's <laughs> no, you don't. That's what we've been saying. No, like it just like I don't know like Hello? wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I, I do like it's God just like it. I've watched so many videos. Ruby, Ooh. cut the shit. Stop. You don't think the fucking world is flat? I don't know. Like I've I've watched a lot of videos. Like I don't know. Do you know me and him? Well, I guess he and I. Me and do you know we made a documentary on the flat Earth? There's so you guys agree that the Earth is flat. In our parody documentary, yeah. When we, we were surrounded by the dumbest people on the fucking planet. Oh, it was planet. a joke? We posed as flat earthers and infiltrated, this exists, the Flat Earth Convention. Which I'll we'll 500 bring 500 of these to. idiots all in the same spot talking about how the earth is flat, each with their own like different opinion of why it's flat. It is the dumbest group of people I've ever seen in my life. Wait, so how it's do we know, how do we leave. how do we know that the the Earth is not? There's flat? a million fucking scientific data points that so that 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 provide info and intelligence around a, a, a spherical Earth. We've seen it from space. What do you want? What are you saying about the satellite imagery? It's fake. Yes. God dang it! Is, is them going to the moon real? I was gonna ask you that. No, Ruby. Why on. did they never go back? So so you don't have to believe both. Because I don't think we made it to the moon. There's a lot of lies, y'all. There's a lot of lies. Why not? There is the flag is, baby. waving in the Gus in the is, no gravity. And oh, everybody has takes all these videos and says this happened, that happened. You speed it up a little bit, you see this. We're going back to the moon right now. We're going back. Yes, Why have they never went Someone's back? Someone's going back. Either we, Russia, or India. I can't remember it is. Somebody's going back to the moon right now. Yo, listen, I'm all I, I really, I really messed up when I hit this. I can't get it. Well, whatever. Just hold on to it because the more you play with the mic, we gotta no, wait I'm for you to do it. Ruby Rose. <laughs> It's okay. Kevin, you got to help me. This is Kevin. He's hey, Kevin. Uh, my little brother. He's my videographer. He's great. Nice we, go on a, we, go on a, we go on all sorts of adventures together. Hey, hola. Uh, uh, the hola, Earth hola. isn't flat. Listen, there's a documentary. Just watch, just watch the one. It's on Netflix. It's called what? I don't know what it's called. 
but just it's like the flat earth documentary that it's on netflix okay and it's trailing flat earthers about their beliefs and um homie accidentally proves that the earth is round in his flat earth experiment oh wow really? you, Thank you. you will tell sure do you, do you have you heard of occam's razor no occam's razor is uh, the simplest theory. You say, ten, like, the simplest theory. Tim, but is it like a thesis? Right is it a th is it a theory? It's a theory. It's a theory that the simplest explanation is often the correct explanation. Right. Okay. And there are so many things and explanations that prove the Earth is round and can be proven correct like and true time and time and time again. Okay. And the same doesn't hold up for the flat Earth theory. Hmm. Ruby, when we were at the flat Earth convention. Okay. We uh that's so funny. We spoke to there. a lot. We spoke to a lot of people. <laughs> let me speak on stage. That, I, yeah, I, I came out of the closet, the flat earth closet. <laughs> and we got a lot of we got a lot of uh input from people in the community. We got to talk to a lot of them individually. And the most that fucking mic. And I you drank too much prime energy, bro. You're he, losing he your mind. You haven't sat in one spot for four it's hours. It's not been the same since you uh brought out that Kevin Owens. That did get you fired up. I'm sorry. We spoke to one guy, kind of like the all-star <laughs> of the community. His name's Mad Mike Hughes. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do this. Now, Matt. <laughs> don't, do, don't do this. Please don't do no, this. No, I'm giving the quick version. Uh, uh, is it the length or just the story itself? It's just the story. I'm saving it for Joe Rogan. I'm saving the no, story. No, we've told on the show many no, times. I don't think we have. Yeah, we have. Have we? Yes, we have many times. T we don't tell have me, to. Tell it's... me the fucking story. Okay, okay. So Mad Mike, Mad Mike Hughes, he was the, you can tell it even longer. He was the all-star of this community, right? Okay. Well, we asked him some questions. He gave us feedback, but we didn't have him sign a, I, I know there's a longer part of it. We didn't have him sign the release form. And he was infamous for getting very angry and suing people who got information from him without it, signing the release form. One additional piece of context you have to know about Mad Mike Hughes. Okay. His nickname is Mad Mike Hughes. Because he be mad. He's mad scientist. He creates homemade rockets that he flies in the and shoots himself into space or the air so he can <laughs> prove that there is no curvature himself and that the Earth is flat. And he lives. Yeah, yeah. He comes. He comes down afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Basically, we <laughs> asked him. We 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 asked him some questions. He gave us some answers. The, the flat, you know, he thought he was talking to someone who was very interested in the flat earth and was okay. going to do him a service and a justice in bringing this information out. So we put out this parody video where it's so obvious that we've we've clowned this entire community. The mm -hmm. world finds out that we think these people are fucking morons. Mm -hmm. And about and about a couple of two months later, him and I are served a court document that we are being sued by Mad Mike Hughes. We have to go to court to defend ourselves. How'd y'all get served? It, by fucking Seth Rogen from Pineapple Express. Wow. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> like, 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 like you've been served. Like, so they brought us this thing, right? And it said on it, like, you guys are facing, you know, a half a million dollar fine and up to three years in prison, like each. It was like a major it's fine for, our heads. for libel and all this stuff. So, at, so we're, so we're like, fuck, we got to prep to go to court with this dude. We're like talking to lawyers or whatever. And we're about to go into a deposition where he pre presents his findings, so on and so forth. But before he comes to court to present his his uh, deposition, he wants to take one last rocket mission to prove that the, the Earth is... Don't tell me this nigga dies. I will open up Twitter one morning. This headline. nigga died? Wow. Mad Mike Hughes dies in fatal homemade rocket accident. Look at God. He crashes rocket. Look at that. It exploded. The parachute didn't right, the parachute That is happen. fucking crazy. So you know we're in this position. Well, no, I mean, uh, you know, what do you do? What do you what, say? We don't want him. To, we don't yeah, want, Mike, don't want to Mike to die. But I can also say that you why do you want to half a million dollars? Yeah. God, shit. damn, shit. Rest in peace, man. My cues, fucking legend. The Earth isn't flat, though. Have you seen how people grow humans say, from I, the ground? Say it again, grow humans from the ground. Oh no, I'm interested. Alex Jones. Watch it on TikTok. Watch it on TikTok. Oh no, is that where you're getting your info? Because I feel like TikTok. <laughs> I don't oh know if it's the best god. source. Oh my god! It's probably not liable. Oh my god! I mean, dude. you know, may, maybe it is. Maybe that's nah, probably not. You know, but I can't the news take is it. fake too. The news is fake too. You know, there was a time when everybody decided that the MSN, the mainstream news, was not trustworthy, which we all knew. We knew it was biased. CNN was left leaning. Fox News was right leaning. There was a one hundred percent bias on the news. So people started to rely on, on social media and individual reporting to break down this corporate ownership of MS of mainstream news. Well, guess what? It went too far because now I, I have started to trust the news again, more than I trust what I read on fucking Twitter and TikTok. Twitter and TikTok are fucking the most ridiculous, unless you really know who you're watching, the videos that and, and, and info that goes viral on those pages is 
the most brainless, idiotic shit I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. You're right. I'm in sorry. my fucking right. life. Are, are, there you, were are, videos. You, are you tuned in still? To TikTok? No, to right now to what Mike's of, saying. Of course. I'm like thinking about like, am I fucking retarded for believing these kids? No, but, because, because yo, there was videos of, <laughs> there was videos of these 10 foot tall aliens, right? Mm -hmm. That that visited Bayside, Miami. But like, be realistic, like, Kids and teens fighting. Why would they have fucking a hundred cop cars, there was, bro? Because there was a lot of fucking. There's first of all, I read that there was a a threat, a firearms threat, which obviously, as you know, gets taken very seriously. If there's okay. a, a actually, sorry, an active shooter threat, if that happens, every cop from the police station is coming. Wait, but I thought y'all believe in aliens, so like, why is no? It we so believe far in fetched? aliens, but but okay, Occam's bring to bring back up Occam's razor. Is it more believable? that the entire police force of Miami showed up for an active shooter drill and a riot of kids who were fighting at the mall, which has been happening all the time lately. We see it at malls. They do big group fights. They do big group lootings of stores. This is happening. You see, you see it with your own eyes every day on TikTok all the time. So is it more likely that the entire police force showed up to break up one of those scenarios or that 12 foot tall aliens showed up at Bayside to ride the Ferris wheel? And, and, and Ruby, get this. There were videos of the fights, but not one video of the 12 foot tall aliens. Not one fucking video, Jorge. What? There's one video. Guess what? It's from a fucking movie. It is a rip from a movie. And it went fucking viral because people are morons. They are fucking stupid. So they see this fucking ripped CGI from a movie and it goes ultra viral on, viral on Twitter because they're like, oh, look, aliens visited the Ferris wheel in Bayside. Are we fucking that stupid? We're not, Ruby. We're not. It was 9-11 real? What do you mean, was it real? Did it, the planes crash or was that the, okay. the government okay. setting that up? Did the, There's so many different layers of it. There's so many different layers of it. There, there's layer number one, Islam, Islamic terrorists, Osama bin Laden, in an attempt to bring down the West, toppled two of our strongest buildings using planes. L one layer down, George Bush, worked with Osama bin Laden to do it, to start a war that would garner more oil for the United States. There's one more layer down. The United States set bombs in explosions in three buildings in New York City to topple it for economic game and war and no plane. There's, and, and the planes were decoys. There's a layer underneath that. There were no planes. The planes were CGI and the news fucking made special effects to make it look like they're, how deep down the rabbit hole do you want to go? I've seen videos that weren't on the news that were just individual recordings of people from boats from the Hudson River of the planes hitting the towers. So when I see that video that had nothing to do with any news station and I have someone telling me, you know, there was no planes. I believe, you know, that, I believe no that there planes. was planes, but I think that the government like did that. And I think, you know, respectfully what's going on in Palestine, I think, you know, the government Listen, had to do with It's that just, as well. there's, there's nuance. We just had this with Hanson on, on the other episode. There's nuance to all of it. To just be to just be able for you to see, at least you said you think there was and you yeah. have reason to believe there was. That's fine. But there's a lot of people out there who are trying to make black and white statements these days about shit that is way above their pay grade. I'm looking <laughs> at these motherfuckers on Twitter from their fucking like little dirty apartment, ass a yeah, dirty no, ass no, one bedroom apartment. Like, not, you know, not to say that wealth has anything to do with it, but you're just sitting there. You don't know what the fuck you you're talking something. about. You have no school. You have no security clearance. How the fuck did you get the data? How did you get the top secret data that no one else could get? You stupid motherfucker. You're sitting there eating Taco Bell on your fucking <laughs> laptop. Sources are telling me right now that the war, <laughs> the conflict will be over by June of next year because Ukraine is. How do you know? How the fuck did you get that data? 900,000 retweets on Twitter. And people are like, wow, it looks like a reliable source. Which part of it? Which part of it looks reliable to you? The Casper mattress in the background with no sheet on it? Are you fucking serious? Oh, no. Oh, no. You people, we just got to use our... I understand. What's listen, going on? Listen. Corporate greed, real. Government corruption, real. All this shit is real. Politic politicians being scumbags, real. Does it happen? Yes. Does it happen all the time? No. Is every conspiracy wrong? No, but every conspiracy also isn't right. We need to nuance. We need people to use their fucking brains out there. Look for evidence. If you want to present something as fact, you better be able to support it with real Back fucking evidence, bro. Back that shit up. Cash that check when you fucking write it. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Thank Big you. mic, everybody. I like when he does that.
fucking. I can see why you responded to his DM. Of course. <laughs> Told you he's a phenom. We're working. Yes. <laughs> We're shooting content. Exactly. Look at us. This is the result shooting of that content. DM. <laughs> Are you shooting content with Jake? We were supposed to, and then he ignored my text last night. He's the one who like they set it up with Nikisa because I'm I know Nikisa like he from said my label. that as well. How? And then because um, when I worked at Hicko, I don't know, he booked me to perform at like a boxing match. At oh, performance. okay, okay. And then I don't know, and then we never did it. I mean, you're here. I know I wanted to do you know? it, but it's okay. When the time is right, the time is right. Can't force anything. When are you leaving? Tonight. <laughs> when? <laughs> what time? I'm, 12.48 a.m. Oh, whoa. What are, so, gonna, what are you going to do this evening? We were going to go to the Ocean Club. Oh. I don't know. Rydell. You know Rydell? Yeah, of course. He he got us some. Oh, cool. Are you going back to Hotlanta? I am going to Atlanta, actually. Do, do you ever go to Magic City? Um, Sometimes we'd be going, but like not for real. Like we, we was doing that when we was like, you know, younger. Yeah. Who would ever go there at that older age? No. What about Magic Castle? Like, in LA. like with magic tricks you know i know some magic tricks no way yeah but um no i don't what like magic that. tricks do you know like i learned like i paid for like to learn like how they'll be doing all that shit oh and no way it's fake well, <laughs> it's not magic well, i mean <laughs> it's not magic. Well, i mean but do you guys believe in psychics i believe in psychos okay so no you don't believe in psychics i believe they exist I believe they're, they have businesses. I believe you could go pay 20 bucks to get your hand read. Look that. Hmm, I'll look at your hand for 20 bucks. Thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not anti. Like if so, if someone, nah, nah. Cause if, like, like, you know, like Haitians and Africans be doing like brujeria and like witchcraft type shit. I, I can't, shit. I can't say, I can't say I, be, I believe in it. Like if someone told me something, you know, tragic was gonna happen. I would be like, uh, okay, like I don't like I don't know. Also, is is that a weird way of manifesting what this person says into your life? Yeah. Because if you do believe in psychics and someone tells you something good or bad is gonna happen, and then it's locked in your brain, are you attracting that energy? Yeah, no, facts. And then does it happen? One thousand percent. I don't do, know. Do you manifest yourself? Absolutely. I manifest in my life. It makes sense. A lot of people who are in your position. Do you do manifest? That. All the time. Yeah, prayers, have been since prayers I was are manifestation. 15. Uh, I agree. Prayers are manifestation. My prayers are gratitude as well. I need to get better at that stuff. That's not right, a lot of gratitude, that. Gratitude, y'all. All that brouhaha stuff scares me. Brouhaha. Because my girl's Cuban and she told me her ancestors look out for her. And that scared the shit out of me, bro. Mm. That was I weird, I just respect dude. it. Respect it. Nah, I ain't no trying to fuck with them at all, dude. Neither. The Cubans? Ancestors? Yeah. You ever have a ghost experience? Um... I I can't say no, but I'd be like, I have night terrors. What about y'all? Y'all have ghost experiences? I just had one at my ranch. Super spooky. What the fuck happened? I'm not good. I'm not good. I just, we heard voices outside at midnight and my dad and his wife were asleep. Like it was, it was horrifying. That's scary. And I'm not good. I'm not good <laughs> with that because like, you know, I'm a macho man. If there's an actual like real threat, like let's handle it. But if you are a paranormal there's nothing entity. you can do. What the fuck am I? Like, I can't go <laughs> running around with my gun outside. Like, I'm screwed. That's when you and then pray. if I piss it off, then I got to pray. I get that. Just pray that away. Mind. That's why I asked you about your camping that one time, if you would camp in the woods by yourself. And you were so gung-ho about it. But what nah, if... Nah, because I was... I mean, the woods is, is you know... What? You don't think there's any supernatural beings in there? I mean, may, maybe. I mean, you found some pretty nice. What type of watch is that? <sighs> I like your Audemars. Thanks. I like your paddock. Paddock, yep. Paddock. Plain um, paddock. My my fiance said I needed a big boy watch, and so I got this Patek. Um, no more bust downs. Now I had I had Rolexes. They they're they're very nice, but like this is a, this is a special watch. This How is much was it? Uh, a retail one four one fifty. Damn, you got it straight from the paddock store. Very hard. Where'd you get all that Von Cleef from? The Van Cleef store. You have so much. My my manager bought me this one. I knew that looked familiar. Yeah, I just got Sarah the green one. The green one's the hardest to get. Yeah. It's no, sick. actually the blue one's the oh, hardest oh, to yeah? get. Oh, yeah? The green the is The green second. one's sick, yeah. Thank you. Ruby, you're awesome. You're awesome. Thanks. Thanks. This has been so fun. It has. Uh, yeah, that was good. That was fun. I wish we could have talked more about conspiracy theories. Yeah. I hope you don't get eaten by those aliens. Yeah, that's that's. I second that. God got me. <laughs> God got you. Um, um, when, again, we're ever in the same city, 
You should come I'm to the WWE. To just pure entertainment. Just come see what's up. You will oh, yeah. be shocked. I want to be a ring girl that carries the sign around like in a sexy outfit. Oh, that's outfit. the easiest If you do thing. that at we the right fight, so easy if you do that at the right fight, you'll get it'll be it'll be a healthy amount of virality. Okay. You should do it for Jake's one of Jake's fights. I should. Let's. Oh, that's amazing. We'll figure it out. Didn't didn't. Didn't Sweetie? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that? that's true. Yeah. Facts. Oh, maybe we don't. <laughs> well, no, it's cute that she did it, too. Uh, uh, Ruby, thanks for joining us Thank in you. Puerto Rico. You've been great. Uh, guys, Ruby Rose, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button as well. We love you guys. 2024 off to a great start. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace. Peace.